Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to St. Gaudens National Historical Park. Uh, my name is Newton. Before today's program starts, I wanted to go over a few logistics and uh, safety with you. Uh, we have uh, three restrooms available here. The, there's one across the street um, by the flagpole. There's one at the bottom of the field where most of you park today. And there's one at the visitor center in this direction through the formal gardens and behind the historic house. Uh, there's also water available um, on this pergola as well. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to talk about some upcoming things coming at St. Gaudens. Uh, next weekend, we'll have our summer celebration and e free evening um, event for families with our artisan residents and a ranger. Um, on Saturday, we have a blow me down tour, a blow me down farm tour, um, where we get to uh, learn about the history of the farm um, and the Cornish colony. And then also on Saturday of next week is the next exhibit opening for our picture gallery um, exhibit from the Cornish, from the uh, St. Gaudens Memorial. So if you're interested in any of those uh, events, uh, come to the green tent and we can tell you all about them. But we can get started with this event here today. Um, so I'll give it to Melissa Richmond, the uh, uh, music coordinator for the St. Gaudens Memorial. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. It's so great to have you here on this lovely, overcast, but lovely afternoon. Um, I just wanted to say a thank you, especially to everyone who's already made a contribution to the season this year. Um, if you haven't made a contribution and you'd like to, we very much appreciate it. It really does help to support music because the uh, music program is run by the Memorial. It's not a part of the park service. Um, you can do that. There is a QR code on the, um, there's a stand over here that has a QR code for the programs, for the digital programs, also to make a donation via PayPal, or we have some various money boxes in the green tent. I would also like to let you know about next week, we'll have Ensemble Schumann. That is Thomas Gallen on oboe, Steve Larson, viola, and many of you may know Sally Pincus, who's a good friend. Um, who's on piano, and they'll be playing Beethoven, Brook, and White, and, and so a few more selections. Um, I also wanted to let you about, know about another local upcoming event. I know we have people here who are fans of Kinan Azme, who's a, a member of the Silk Road Ensemble, and Danuk Wajaratne, they were here a couple of years ago. They will be performing on Monday, August 21st in Claremont, and um, at the uh, West Claremont Center for Music and the Arts. If you have any questions about that, please let me know, but it's, a, it's gonna be a fantastic concert. It'll be the first time they'll be playing together just as a duo here um, since the pandemic. So um, the other note I have for you is to please turn your ringers off before we get started. So today is, um, is a really special day. We've had a number of wonderful memorials this year. This today will be, um, no exception to that. I was fortunate, I haven't been here for that long with the memorial, but I was fortunate to know Frank. He was such a lovely person, very passionate about music, very memorable. I really enjoyed him. Um, you'll, you'll get to hear more from his family um, in just a few minutes, but um, I hope that I've done Frank proud with our musicians today. So I, th I think, I really think he'll like them. I think this is right up his alley, so. Um, and without any further ado, I will introduce to you Tim Cornell, who is the chair of the music committee for St. Gaudens Memorial. Hi. Well, good. Um, hi. My name is Tim Cornell. I am chairman of the music committee, uh, which means that I followed in Frank Platt's footsteps. He was the last chair of the music committee, the, I think, the third chair ever. Um, and it was suiting, suitable to him because he had a very deep love of, of a huge breadth of music, both classical, uh, pop, rock, uh, and, and particularly jazz. And starting at a young age, he loved to go to holes in the wall jazz clubs in New York and, 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 and Boston and, and play the table uh, to, 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 the, to the songs. Um, he, um, he also, uh, from, from early on, had a, had a uh, 
very deep love of, of poetry. In fact, he had a very deep love of, of everything that the world ha had to give. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was telling Roger, oh, I, this, is, this sounds pretty bo boring, but it actually isn't. One of, one of my favorite uh, things that Frank uh, left was an inscription in a book to my grandmother, which said, to Fanny, with lots of love, and it was like underlined with an exclamation mark, and it seemed like he had lots of love for everybody he met and 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 and, and the world in which we moved, and and um, uh, that included uh, poetry. Well, also just just as an aside, Roger was telling me this story last night about uh, one he he once had dinner with W. H. Auden. Who complained about his 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 most recent wife? Who he, he said? Oh, I thought it was Auden. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, complained about his most recent recent wife, saying, "quote She lacks a sense of adventure," and Frank had a huge sense of adventure, um, both in the world and in the world of the mind. And he brought that to his, uh, his love of, of music and poetry. Uh, he had a um, uh, 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 very strong role in creating uh, Poets House in, in New York, uh, which celebrate, celebrates uh, poetry, um, an area that, that's sorely, sorely needed in our time. And so today, we are celebrating Frank with both jazz and, and poetry. And we're going to start out with the, the, the poetry side of that. And for that, we'll start off with his son, Arthur Platt. Nice, very sweet. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just pop up. Testing. This goes down. Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Platt, middle child of Frank and Judy Platt. Our sister Sophie can't be here, but you'll meet my older brother shortly and Frank's grandson. So Pop, Frank, oops, this is, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. There you go, thank you. Yeah, good, good, there you go, nice. Um, <laughs> Frank was on numerous boards Arts Foundation, St. Gaudens Poets House, Musica Sacra, Cheney, T Cheney Cemetery Association. As a kid, you know, it was a little unclear what he was spending his time doing, you know, when my friend's dads were dentists, and architects, whatever. Um, but I learned to understand that. And in, in thinking about these introductory comments, you, know, you could do a checklist. What is a board member supposed to do? Well, raise money, certainly. And let's do that today. Um, support the staff of the organization. And he spent lots of time with the people that ran these foundations or Poets House and really heard what their mission was or what they needed to accomplish, always supporting them. Bringing in some very, landing some very large Bill Murray and people like that to, to donate. And he just had this magnetic personality and love for people that Tim was touching on that made um, some of the intangible parts of being a board member so he was the perfect profile for a board member in, in that respect. Um, he and his cousin Charlie, his first cousin who was president of St. Gaudens for many years, they wanted to start a 12-step program pro bono anonymous because <laughs> they spend undue times working tirelessly for all these causes. Um, he, w he had this ability to laser in on people he met, found out what their culture was, what their food was, and become very, make very deep connections that lasted his whole life. Um, <laughs> one of his jobs at Poets House was selecting poems for people to read at galas, fundraisers, and he put lots of thought into that. Today that falls to me. <laughs> to, select a poem for at this event. And uh, so I, I selected a Walt Whitman poem and it's in the program you have there. That was a, a, poem, a poet that Frank and I bonded over because of our love of New York and the way 
Whitman got the pulse of New York back in the 1860s and <laughs> resonated to my dad and, and to me today. Uh, okay, so I'm going to jump right into that. A noiseless, a noiseless patient spider. A noiseless patient spider, I marked, where on a little promontory it stood isolated. Marked how to explore the vacant vast surrounding, it launched forth filament, 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 out of itself, ever reeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. And you, O oh my soul, where you stand, surrounded, detached in measureless oceans of space, ceaselessly musing, venturing, throwing, seeking the spheres to connect them, till the bridge you will need be formed, till the ductile anchor hold, till the gossamer thread you fling catch, you fling catch somewhere, O oh my soul. Thank you. Hi, I'm Roger Platt. Thank you uh, to the National Park Service for um, doing this and remembering my dad. Thank you also um, to St. Gordon's uh, for, for doing this. Um, it's actually just really wonderful, and for many of you who may have lost loved ones, just to hear their name said, you know, uh, again. Um, there is a, there's a mystical tradition um, that thinks of people as having, in effect, three deaths. The first is just, you know, when their heart stops beating. The second is when they're buried and, and sort of placed away from, from sight. But the third, and, the, and in a way the most definitive, is the very last time, sometime in the future we hope for us, when our name is said for the very last time. Um, and so when we hear um, our father's name, uh, it just makes us feel like that third death, at least, is, is, is not so close. Um, for Pop, uh, as has been said before, poetry and music was extremely personal, and he um, was often able to tell you exactly who had recommended a wonderful piece of music or poetry to him, and he himself um, had an extraordinary sense for the right moment for a piece of music or a poem. And you'll get to hear from my son an example of that, the poem, but also maybe just how he came uh, to hear about it from my dad. So my, here's my son, Ben. Uh, yes, no, thank you for the introduction. Uh, I'm the shorter of the Platt men, so I'm gonna maybe go like that. Um, yeah, my name is Ben Platt. Uh, Frank was my uh, grandfather. Uh, he was my friend. Um, which I think is a great thing to be able to say about your, your grandfather. He uh, was an inspiration certainly to me and I know to many other people. Um, so the, the poem I'm going to read is a poem that he actually read uh, at my wedding in, in Washington, D.C. Uh, this would have been six years ago. My wife's not here, so no, okay. Um, and uh, I then went on to read it uh, at his funeral. Um, so I think it's uh, fitting to uh, read it today at uh, this memorial. Uh, the poem is, I Carry Your Heart With Me, I Carry It In by E.E. E. Cummings. Um, I carry your heart with me, I carry it in my heart. I am never without it, anywhere I go, you go, my dear, and whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful, you are my world, my true, and it's what, and it's you are whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root and the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart, I carry it in my heart.
I'm going to read the final poem on behalf of Frank's daughter, Sophie, who unfortunately could not be here. She lives in Germany and couldn't, couldn't make it all the way here, but she said that this, this, uh, this represents Frank beautifully. Acquainted with the Night by Robert Frost. Uh, I have been one acquainted with the night. I have walked out in the rain and back in the rain. I have outwalked the furthest city light. I have walked down the saddest city lane. I have passed by the watchman on his beat and dropped my eyes, unwilling to explain. I have stood still and stopped the sound of feet when far away an interrupted cry came over houses from another street. But not to call me back or to say goodbye, and further still, at an unearthly height, one luminary clock against the sky proclaimed the time was neither right, nor wrong nor right, for I have been one acquainted with the night. All right, I hope everybody is ready for a little bit of music and to get the party started. Please join me in welcoming the fully celebrated orchestra.
Oh, thank you all. Thank you all for coming out. I know before you left the house today, you thought, eh, it's probably going to rain, but you came anyway. <laughs> Taylor Boheinem on the cornet. <laughs> Ian Ayers on the guitar. <laughs> Django Cabango on the drums. <laughs> I'm Jim Hobbs. We are the Fully Celebrated Orchestra. Timo Shango on the bass.
Timo Jago on the bass, Django Cabango on the drums, Ian Ayers on the guitar, Taylor Hobinum on the cornet, I'm Jim Hobbs with the fully celebrated orchestra.
Ian Ayers on the guitar, Django Cabango on the drums, Taylor Bohiney on the cornet, Timo Schenko on the bass, I'm Jim Hobbs. We are the Fully Celebrated Orchestra. Thank you very much for having us.
Thank you, thank you very much, Taylor Hall Bynum, Ian Ayers, Django Cabango, Timo Shenko, I'm Jim Hobbs. We're the fully celebrated orchestra.